Hi, Graham here. Um, this video is going to be about our rainwater collection system up here in our, our little off-grid cabin. Well, I guess it's not so little, but uh, anyway, if you can see, I'll turn the video around. There's our thousand gallon rain tank. That was quite an experience getting it to this island, but uh, I think we have a video posted of dragging this behind a boat. Um, you notice I have the gutters all set up. So, here's our water tank. You notice the rain gutter is connected to that top inlet. I've got a screen over that. I have to go up and clean that every now and then. Um, the water, when it first rains, uh, the uh, roof can be pretty dirty, so it goes into what's called a roof washer, and that's this long pipe here. And basically down at the bottom I have a valve, which I set so the water just trickles out. So that basically fills up when it first starts to first starts to rain and um, all the dirty water stays in there. Then you can see the pipe goes into our thousand gallon water tank um, and then right up at the top here is our overflow. So that uh, I usually just try to fill the tank and then close it off um, but um, if I'm not around up here for a few weeks and it overflows, it just overflows in this pipe and goes down. So you notice the valves I have at the bottom. I've got a couple of them. They go into this RV clean water pipe and then basically into... Uh, I picked that up at Camping World as an RV um, inlet for your water. And it comes into here, and uh, through a little screen filter, those are required for these uh, flow jet pumps, just to not get any big particles in it. You get any big, any big debris into your pump, you're going to cause some problems. Here's our flow jet pump. It's got a shutoff valve right here, so when there's about 38 uh, psi pounds per square inch of pressure in the lines, it shuts off. Doesn't need a pulsating tank. Um, and it's self-priming. And I've got the switch up here, and uh, got the screen filter down there. And I do run it through. I believe that's like about a 20 micron filter, so it's pretty. It's just taking out the big particles. Um, we basically use the rainwater for um, showers and the sink. All right, inside the house, here is the sink. You can see that. Uh, we do have a bit of pressure there, it's not too bad. It's adequate enough. And the other spot we have some uh, the water piped into is the shower. Turn on some light in here. Here's our little EcoTemp eco um, flash heater for our shower. You know, it's the shower head. Um, it's got it hooked up to the propane tank down here. And you can see the clear water line coming up from the pump house outside, a little pump box. Uh, basically, and you can, there we go, let's see, EcoTemp. You can uh, set the water flow and the, and the gas regulator so you can get it hotter. And then underneath here you have a spot for a couple D-cell batteries. That, that's what ignites. I've been using the same two batteries for a little over a year, still have a pretty good charge. There's the on-off switch, which you can see right there. And then the valve, basically how this works is the minute you turn the water valve on, it ignites, and the propane ignites, and it works. So let's go ahead and do that. You can hear it. There's the water. And I'll touch it right now, and yep, there's shower, shower-ready water instantly. 